Bad news hits Tonumbu as Supreme Court is told to remove him over this. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. The Hope Democratic Party and the 2019 presidential candidate, Chief Ambrose Oru, have filed an appeal at the Supreme Court seeking to nullify the inauguration of President Bola Tonambu on May 29, 2023. The appellants claim that Tonbu's presidency is illegitimate as there, as there is a pending suit of the Ipes Court over the rightful winner of a 2019 presidential election. As the 2023 presidential election, the appellant rely on the doctrine of least pendants, which means that nothing should be done to alter the status quo of a matter that is before the court. They argue that Tunumbu, who joined the suit as an interested party on May 18, 2023, was aware of the existing legal dispute over the 2019 presidential election and should have waited patiently, okay, 2019, and should have waited for the outcome of a suit before presenting himself for inauguration. According to the appellant, the doctrine of the lease pendants renders the 2023 presidential election and its outcome illegal and futile, as they are dependent on the resolution of a 2019 presidential election dispute. The appellates contend that they are adjourned and constitutional winners of a 2019 presidential election as against the declaration of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, which announced Muhammad Buhari as the winner. The appeal marked SC 67-2023 is between Chief Ambrose Over, HDP, and former President Muhammad Buhari as an agile of the Federation, AGF, INEC, and Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. The appellant is asking the Supreme Court to sack Tunumbu and declare Oru as the president of Nigeria. In a press statement issued in Abuja, the national coordinator of the HDP, Al Haji Awal Ibrahim, accused the All Progressive Congress APC led government of usurping power and disregarding the rule of law and the constitution. He said that Tenebu's inauguration was an act of self-help and violated the law and the doctrines of his pendants. He said that the HDP was of the firm belief that the act of self-help by Tenebu and his party would not stand the test of time and justice. As the Supreme Court would uphold the constitutional mandate of Oboru to serve out the term of office of the President of Nigeria as required by law. The statement reads in part, It is indisputable that the current act of self-help and the session to assume the presidential office by any party involved in this matter constitutes a breach of the law and this pendants doctrine. This doctrine explicitly states that parties must refrain from taking any action that could alter or influence the subject matter before the court so as not to jeopardize Chief Oboru's established constitutional rights and mandate as a confirmed winner of a 2019 presidential election. There is documented evidence that Asiwaji Bola and Metorambu recognizing the least pendants doctrine and ongoing legal disputes between Oru and Buhari regarding the mandate dissipation actively participated in the existing court proceedings on May 18, 2023. This occurred before his alleged inauguration concerning the 2023 presidential electoral controversy. Legally, he is obligated to await the resolution of the ongoing proceedings related to the constitutional mandate and entitlement of Oboru to fulfill the presidency. According to the law, the consequence of Tunumbu's action is what the 2023 presidential election and its outcome known to Tunumbu before joining the lawsuit are encompassed and contingent upon the resolution of existing legal proceedings concerning overrules already an adjudicated and yet to be served constitutional mandate. This is accordance with the legal requirement for Oboru to complete the term of the presidency of Nigeria. Well, if you ask me, 
Well, I'm too much like it. Well, I don't too much. Sansan don't pass Gary. Sansan don't pass Gary. They are bringing in. I know that they are actually. Uh, what's it called? Now, this is what I'm going to say. Let me just say this. When I go cry till Christ go come, till the owner of this evil write up is already in jail, let Baba come back. How? Well, let me say this. All right, this issue now, like I said before, from the beginning, first of all, in Eau Claire, all right, well, this particular issue, like I've said before, this issue. This um, issue of the Supreme Court and uh, 2019, what exactly is the problem? All right, this issue now, 2019, hmm. 2019. And then since they go work, I'll be what exactly do they even want? Please stop looking for cheap attention. We need to move the nation forward. The whole world is in trouble. Huh. When I go cry till Christ come back. <clears throat> Can you imagine? There are good points here, but to Nigeria, judges does not work. Exactly. I know I'm aware of that issue. That's important. Um, was a court the case between